एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल बी यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इक्वेलेंट ग्रेविटी इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच आवर वीडियो ऑन इक्वेलेंट ग्रेविटी इट इज हाईली रिकमेंडेड दैट यू वॉच इट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस सोल्यूशन द लिंक फॉर द वीडियो इज सोन ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो फाइंड द रीडिंग ऑफ द स्प्रिंग बैलेंस सोन इन द फिगर द एलिवेटर इज गोइंग अप विथ एन एक्सलेशन ऑफ जी बाई टेन द पुली एंड द स्ट्रिंग आर लाइट एंड द पुली इज स्मूथ From our discussion on equivalent gravity, we know that this situation is equivalent of having an elevator at rest, but where additional acceleration due to gravity of g by 10 acts in downward direction. So, in the frame of the elevator, the acceleration due to gravity is g plus g by 10 or 11 g by 10. Let us assume that in the frame of the elevator, the 3 kg block moves down with an acceleration a. Since the length of the string has to remain constant. the 1.5 kg block will move up with the same acceleration now let us denote the mass of the 3 kg block with m1 and draw its free body diagram since acceleration due to gravity in our frame is 11 g by 10 gravitational force of m1 into 11 g by 10 acts in downward direction tension in the string t is pulling upward and the block is moving downward with acceleration a writing equation of motion in vertical direction we get m1 into 11 g by 10 minus t is equal to m1 a dividing both sides by m1 we get 11 g by 10 minus t by m1 is equal to a if we denote the mass of 1.5 kg block with m2 gravitational force of m2 into 11 g by 10 is pulling the block downward tension t is pulling it upward and the block is moving upward with acceleration a writing equation of motion in vertical direction we get t minus m2 into 11 g by 10 is equal to m2 a Dividing both side by m2, we get t by m2 minus 11 g by 10 is equal to a. Eliminating a from equation one and two, we get 11 g by 10 minus t by m1 is equal to t by m2 minus 11 g by 10, which implies t by m1 plus t by m2 is equal to 11 g by 5, or m1 plus m2 divided by m1 m2 into t is equal to 11 g by 5. Which implies t is equal to m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into 11 g by 5. Putting the values of m1 and m2, we get t is equal to 3 into 1.5 divided by 3 plus 1.5 into 11 g by 5. Simplifying, we get t is equal to 11 g by 5. Now let us look at the pulley. It is being pulled down from both sides by tension t in the string and pulled up by tension in the string connecting the pulley to the spring balance. Since the pulley is massless. Net force on it is zero. Therefore, the tension in the string joining pulley to the spring balance is 2t, that is 22g by 5. The spring balance reads the tension in the string pulling it. So the reading in the spring balance is 22 by 5 kg, that is 4.4 kg. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.